of to add three numbers together. Listen to my story so that we can see or hear what numbers we are going to put together. Kelly sees seven birds. Bill sees two birds. Joe sees three birds. How many birds do they see? Raise your hand. How many birds did Kelly see? Seven. Seven. Very good. So we are going to draw seven cubes. Please make sure that they are all attached. How many birds did Bill see? Two. Two. So below that, I want you to draw two more cubes. And how many birds did Joe see? Three. Instead of having only two numbers to put together, we have three different numbers to put together. Raise your hand if you know how many birds they saw all together. Very good. They saw 12 birds all together. Now, if I were to look at this, as an addition problem with numbers, I can write it like this. 7 plus 2 plus 3 equals blank. It's kind of hard to put three numbers together, isn't it? Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to put two of the numbers together so then, it's a little bit easier for me to add the numbers. So, who wants to share which two numbers would you like to put together? Seven and three. Okay, why are you choosing to put the seven and the three because, together? Um, Okay, that makes a bigger number. Okay, it does make a bigger number. Raise your hand if you know what 7 plus 3 equals. Um, 10. 10. Very good. So now I have 10 plus 2 equals. Is that a little bit easier than 7 plus 2 plus 3? I just yeah. made it all easier. I, you, we did make it easier, isn't it? I think that 10 plus 2 is easier than 7 plus 2 plus 3. What is 10 plus 2 first grade? 12. 12. Did we get the same answer as before? Yes. yes, we did. That is what we are doing today. We have three numbers, but we're going to put together two of them so that we can make it a little bit easier on ourselves to add. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Here I see the number 2 plus 3 plus 1 equals. It would be easier if I did what? If you did the 3 plus 3. Ooh, I like to hear lots of strategies when you told me that. 
He said, I want to kind of put a bigger number, maybe with a smaller number, because then I can count on. He's using a count on strategy because he sees a plus one or a plus two. I think that's a wonderful idea to put the bigger number together with a smaller number. So here's what they did. They put the two cubes with the three cubes. Is that kind of what he was saying to do? Yes, it was. So if I put the two and the three together, what number do I make? First thing, five. five. Two plus three equals five. Now, do I have to do anything with this last one? Do I have to do anything with them? No. Adding. To what? Count on. You have to count on. I have to put that one in there. So instead of having two plus three plus one, I now have five plus one. Isn't that a little bit easier? Yes. Okay. So basically, I'm just putting my cubes together to make a bigger number so that it's easier to add. So, raise your hand if you know what five plus one equals. First grade? Six. Wonderful. That's a lot easier to figure out than two plus three plus one. But if I know that five plus one equals six, then two plus three plus one must equal six. You are so right. 